Um, just, you know, I sound like a broken record coming over here, but it's, it was another really good practice. You know, the, the amount of work we were able to get done, uh, the situations we were able to, to put them through, uh, the way they compete. Uh, and, you know, I keep saying co compete and cooperate. And by, by that, I mean there's great competition, but there's nothing petty, you know, not scuffles or dust ups. There's, you know, not negative language, um, and yet it's very competitive. And I think that just bodes itself well for creating a great team environment. So that to me has been encouraging. Um, I'm really impressed with the progress that the offense is making. It doesn't show up on every single play, but you know everything from from the verbiage, you know, uh, you know, learning how to call a play and put it together sequentially the way that it makes sense to to get in the line of scrimmage, getting set. You know, we haven't had a lot of formation errors. We haven't had a lot of uh, false starts or dropped snaps. You know, that doesn't mean it's perfect, but uh, there's just a lot of encouraging things that you see when you look at the film or you watch practice that maybe, you know, don't show up uh, when you're out here just, you know, as an observer. So uh, I think our run game is, is improving. I, I think our scheme is good, the things that we're doing, and then we've got good backs. You know, they're all right there together. You know, I think Bolo and, and, and Bolu and, and Soso, and, and I think Nate Starks is doing a tremendous job, and, uh, and Brandon, and, and then putting um, Jalen Starks, you know, kind of having him play fullback and, and halfback. It's a really good group, and then I don't want to leave out Khalil Muhammad. So uh, great competition there. Um, and then they're meshed with the offensive line. Then we're, we're asking our receivers to be more involved in blocking, and they're they're accepting that challenge. So a lot of good things. And then defensively, you know, we're settling into uh, a situation where guys have a, a more complete understanding of not only their position but the scheme. And uh, when you can can understand more than just what you're supposed to do and how you fit in the scheme, then you're typically going to be a more productive player and a more productive defense. So just a lot of really good things happening right now. We've got. We've got five practices left, but we've got Saturday and then you know three next week, then the spring game. And our objective is to come out here for the spring game and make it an actual game. Um, that doesn't mean all the special teams will be live, but we'd like to think that if we can stay healthy the way we have, that we're able to put together two squads and have a, a blue versus white actual game on Drake, which I think a lot of people want to see, and, and I'd like to see us be able to accomplish. So. I know you've talked about maybe not doing that because of injury concerns, but you think you could weather that okay? I do at this point, it could change. Yeah. You know, uh, and the reason I do, Ben, is because I see them understanding how to practice with a level of physicality without uh, cheap shots. You know, the defensive backs understand that they're not gonna blow a receiver up just to blow him up, you know. Um, they, they, they know how to practice. Now, that doesn't mean it's always perfect. We have moments where we have to, you know, we have to settle them down and we have to rein them back in. Uh, but, you know, they know how to practice. And uh, so I think that at this point, I could tell you that we're going to have, you know, a real spring game, but it, it could change. How, how are you doing on the injury front? Was Boss Great. a little banged up today? Or? A little, but nothing that I know that we have to worry about. I didn't get anyone to come over and tell me he was out. I mean, we took him out for a little bit, but you know, we've had, what have we had, 11 or 10, 10 practices, 10 hard practices, nine in pads, you know, a lot of physical work, not always live obviously, but still physical. And they've been long practices and they've been productive practices. So guys are gonna be a little bit nicked, but you know, I've been impressed with the way guys have pushed through. You know, uh, Austin Roberts getting back out there and doing some work today. Um, I just see guys that are really trying to push through a little bit of pain and get better. You've talked a few times about kind of splitting up some of the periods on both both fields. Mm -hmm. You didn't do that last year. Why was kind of this camp the right time for that? Uh, we have more players um, available to us. We're putting in a new offense, uh, entirely new verbiage. There's really zero carryover in terms of in terms of the language that we use to describe a formation, a play, or even a personnel group. So it gives us more opportunities to get reps. And the way you get better at football, one of the ways you get better is you run plays. And so we want to be able to run plays. And, uh, um, you know, we don't do it every day. We didn't do it yesterday. We did it some today. It depends on the period. It depends on the, you know, the practice plan. But it just gives guys more opportunities to get out there and run football plays.
we saw Darius tap practice with a with an interception. It seems like he's made a ton of plays every every practice. What what about him kind of gives them that playmaking ability? It's a great question. It's a, I think it's a little bit of an intangible. You know, first of all, I think he's very smart. I think that he understands, as I was talking about earlier, more than just his job, but the concept of the defense and you know maybe where the ball is going to be thrown. Uh, I think he studies the game, and then I think there's just certain guys that that have a knack. You know, um, one of the ways you make plays is you go hard all the time. You know, and that's why you get tips or you get overthrows is because you know you break and then you look rather than look to see what's happening and then break, and so you buy yourself that step or that half step that it takes to make a play. And I think picks one of those guys. He's been one of those guys since he's been here. You know, he's becoming a really, really good football player, a really good safety. And then you mentioned for the spring game wanting to have a true you know, blue versus white. How do you anticipate breaking up the, the roster for that? Yeah, I'm still working through that. You know, we've talked about having a draft. Uh, what we'll probably do is sit down as a staff Monday or Tuesday, see where we are in terms of uh, you know, guys being nicked, who's available, and try to split it up so that it's even. You know, I don't want it to be a bloodbath. I want it to be competitive. So uh, we could have a draft. But I don't know that that's the most productive thing to do. So I think what we'll probably do, and once again, this is open to change, is, uh, is split the teams as evenly as we can so that it can be competitive. Okay? All right. Thanks, you guys Jim. have a great afternoon. Thank you.